All right, this is how to use QuickTime Pro to flip, rotate, blend, or scale one or more of the video tracks inside a QuickTime movie. First, you go up to the top bar, pull down the window, uh, pull down the menu, show movie properties, and the macro for that is Command J. And that will bring this window open here. Um, this window has a variety of things in it. Uh, it's a very simple movie at this point in time, one soundtrack and one video track. The first thing you see when I click on the video track is it enables these two buttons, Extract and Delete. So if, for example, I want to delete the sound or the video track from this movie, I click on Delete. I, you know, highlight it, select it, turn it blue, click on Delete. Extract is basically exporting just one track out of the movie. Uh, one or more, I should say. If I had a whole, some movies uh, have a whole bunch of tracks. They can have up to 99 tracks. If I select one or more, I can select just a few of them to either extract or delete. Okay, go to video track. Click on visual settings. This opens a whole series of choices here and a mask window. I'm not going to deal with the mask window in this tutorial. I'll do that in another one. First of all, transformation is how you change the scale of the movie. Uh, scale it up or down. If you want to change the shape of it from like a square to a rectangle or something, you can unselect preserve aspect ratio. These offset buttons tell QuickTime Player to play that track at a certain point on the screen. So you can move the picture around from here to there. What I want to show you in this uh, selection is the flip and the rotate commands. And in order to do that, I'm going to go back to that other window. But I can still use the command. So when I hit the flip, you can do that. You can turn it upside down. You can rotate it <laughs> in, in all four directions. Down here, going back down here now in this pull down menu here has a variety of options for how this track will relate to other tracks in the movie. For example, if I wanted to go and copy video track one, and paste it on top of itself. All right. What I have just done is I copied track one and placed it on top of itself. So now I'm going to take track two, the copy, and flip it. Okay. So now I have flipped track two. And I'm going to blend track two. When that does, it'll play both of them on top of each other. Um, by changing the amount of blending of one to the other, you can fade one in or out. Uh, all kinds of options here. So I can unflip number two and maybe make it a little bit smaller. Say 1180. Kind of gives an interesting little effect there. Offsets it, blends it in there. Ultimate options there. Many, many things you can do by changing these various uh, fields.